Often when I watch other people's lives being lived out on social media or on reality TV, it can look like everyone has it all figured out. It can make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Am I failing as a person and am I a quitter because I seem to hop from job to job or place to place simply because those things don't serve me anymore? But what I've come to realize is that no one has it all figured out. We are all on a journey learning what works for us individually and the beauty of life is that we can take those experiences and use them to evolve into the person we want to be. Currently, I'm going through yet another transition and I've been having to remind myself that in order to grow and mature as a woman, I'm going to have to quit things and to fail hard a lot in order to allow this evolution to take place. It's scary and some days I feel like giving up on everything, but life is beautiful if you look at it from this perspective and it gives me a lot of solace knowing that we are all just humans on a beautiful planet trying to figure it all out. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yesterday it was an extremely rainy day, like it rained all day long. I had planned on filming this video a couple days ago, but it was raining so hard that I didn't think it would be safe to be driving on off-roads in the middle of the rain, but it's been a long time since I've spoken to you guys directly on camera. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff, which I will get into this video it just seems like it never ends y'all I don't know if any of y'all can relate to me but I feel like it just there's always something there's there's always something anyways we prevail we turn lemons into lemonade and we are living in beautiful back black panther again full time now for about two weeks when you see this video it will be almost three weeks uh, since I moved into Black Panther again <laughs> and it has been absolutely wonderful and in this video I'm gonna tell you guys the reasons why I left SUV living and why I came back to it and it's honestly been a very transformative journey um, and I've learned a lot about myself in the past year. Coffee number two, because I have been kind of avoiding doing off-road tracks for a while um, and camping super out there, um, just because like I feel like it's a mind block, like I'm slowly just getting myself back into the deep life and today is the day we are going to be going on a forest road, not a very long one, it's about a mile long um, track and to get to a spot I've never been before. I had to go get William because he was eating fish eggs on the beach. <laughs> You're such a dog. I know. It's so hard. Yeah, you okay, buddy? You can't. You just can't eat that stuff. Anyways, while we're here at this beautiful spot, I just wanted to first share all of my reasons why I quit living in the Jeep. Ah, William! And after writing them down, I feel really good, like I have closure on it because I feel like this decision for me to stop traveling kind of was really swift, but it makes sense when I wrote them down, like why I did it. Reason number one I wrote was just because I was burnt out. Y'all, I was burnt out and pretty broke. I don't know if you guys are also experiencing it, but I feel like inflation definitely did make traveling not feel worth it anymore. I was spending so much money on gas and groceries and I just couldn't keep up and especially then I was like even though my channel was at its height I was not making much money on sponsorships. I didn't realize at the time how much I was worth and so I was not getting paid what I should have been paid for several sponsorships and that really sucks. <laughs> so I was just not making enough money and it was making me unhappy. I was broke. Yeah, this life is so free, but it does require money to travel and to be able to be like, I'm gonna drive to this town today or I'm gonna go do this. So yeah, I was definitely down being my tourist self. We like to have that stability in money and um, in our income. So that was really making me unhappy and just 
I wasn't able to travel as freely as I wanted to. Like it started getting really windy and hot in the desert and I was just like, I don't know how I'm gonna leave. Like how am I gonna afford to leave the desert? I don't wanna be here anymore, but I can't leave. So that is reason number one. Uh, reason number two was because I was feeling extremely lonely, y'all. I am not a person that generally gets lonely. I like to be alone a lot. I love to sit with myself, but because of my dad's passing in January, I think I needed more of a support system than I realized. Like I needed to be surrounded by community more. And so that just made for a really lonely time. And it was still kind of like the end trail of the pandemic. So things were still not open, normal, and it was just really hard to meet people on the road. Oh, and I was like losing weight very quickly, y'all. Like, I don't know what it was. It was like I was eating, but I couldn't keep weight on. And like, that's a sure sign that like mentally things aren't going well. Number three, so when I finally got a message from an acquaintance saying that there was a job open to go crabbing. I was like, this is my way out. This is my way to have something going for myself this summer that I can do that's different than this. I was like, maybe it's time to try something different. And so I came back here to Alaska and I crabbed, which that whole summer was also a doozy. Looking at it now, like I was in such a different mental state than I am currently. Like I think I have so much more respect for myself than I did then. Um, but you can definitely blame it on like mental health stuff. Yeah, so I was willing to do anything to just like get out of this lifestyle. And so I wanted to try something different for a bit. And then I found this really cute studio that I lived in, which now my mom lives in. It's kind of great that I was able to pass it on to her so she can kind of decompress from the van life for a little bit. Uh, and then I found this cute little studio and I couldn't give it up. I was like, I need to take this as a blessing um, and I need to take this as a sign that maybe I should slow down for a bit. So I did that. And then I got my real estate license. Someone in the community who is a real estate or a broker hired me. And we'll get more into that later. So I just thought that it would be a great idea to try something different for a bit. And I did. I'm really proud of myself for realizing that things weren't working and I was unhappy and that I needed to take the time out for myself to heal because I thought that being on the road was going to help me grieve and it did a little bit until it just got hard. Then it was like really hard for me to focus on myself. So I did that, got a therapist, like things got a lot better and they are better now. I can say that I don't think my grieving will ever finish. It will never be over, but it definitely feels good to be able to sit with it and understand it better. I think so many people on the road experience burnout and people on social media who do this for basically a living, they experience burnout and they're not always honest with themselves or with their community. And I think that's a, a injustice. That's not, it's not a great thing to do to show that like this life is always romantic. The sprinkles and the frosting is kind of melting and I think a lot of people are realizing that, that you have to be honest with people about what's happening and because I know that there are a lot of people out there that want to do something similar to what I'm doing and then they do it and they realize it's not exactly what they thought it would be because we're all humans, we're all complex, we're all changing and evolving all the time and life isn't going to be peachy keen all the time. And then the last reason why I wanted to come back was because I wanted to build community. I felt like I didn't belong anywhere. That just made me feel like I had no purpose. And yeah, so definitely coming up here last summer was a sign, a chance for me to build that community, to build that home base. And yeah, I can definitely say that I have that. I have some really amazing friends here on this island that I know I will be friends with for the rest of my life. I can definitely say that and I know that I can always come back to this island, which I will, because as you guys know, I do own a piece of property here. Not that there's much of an update about that. So those are the real reasons why I left Jeep life and why I stopped full-time traveling for a while. 
You gotta be honest with yourself, guys. You gotta like get real with yourself and be like, this is not working for me. And if this does not serve me anymore, I'm gonna make a change. I'm so happy that I did because the adventures that I've had here on this island have been epic. <laughs> I do now when I get to campsites in the north. Hey bear, I'm here and if you want to mess with me, don't because I got bear spray. <laughs> ah, it's so beautiful here guys. I was afraid but I was brave. Had to take a little breaky break and I figured right now was a good time to eat the rest of my oatmeal that I didn't eat this morning and to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video which I just turned on and I'm trying to see if it's gonna work out in the middle of nowhere which is somewhere to me. It's working! Whenever I could get internet basically in the middle of nowhere. I'm in the most random spot in Southeast Alaska ever, and it's working! Today, I present to you something that has changed the game while I live and work on the road. This is Connect 10. You're just gonna have to believe me when I say this investment is worth it. The reliable high-speed internet connection that I receive from Connect 10 is truly remarkable. It is truly like having a personal Wi-Fi hotspot wherever I go. Connect 10 brings you blazing fast speeds, unlimited data, and virtually no dead zones. Say goodbye to unreliable connections and hello to uninterrupted online adventures. I've been using Connect 10 internet ever since I moved back into my Jeep and let me tell you, it's a game changer. I can stay connected, stream all my favorite shows, and even work remotely without missing a beat. 
Let's talk plans. Connect 10 Internet offers two plans. The Adventure plan starts at $99 per month, while the Wanderlust plan starts at $120 per month. And to kickstart your journey, there's a one-time activation fee of $100. If you're tired of unreliable connections and missing out on important moments, it's time to make the switch to Connect in Internet. Visit ConnectInInternet.com and get a discount using Louis35 to get $35 off your order. Stay connected and travel the world like never before. Stay safe out there, my friends. I don't know why I was so nervous about coming up here. I feel like the butterflies are gone now. I, I know how to off-road. <laughs> my Jeep's capable. I'm totally okay. Just so beautiful and just being up here alone in the silence like listen it took me a long time to get used to that when I first started camping out in the back country and stuff but it's just beautiful all you can hear is a waterfall and William chewing on a bone that he found good for him <laughs> I'm so excited to get on the road for real but I have some time yet before I hop on that ferry and head further north so I think we're just gonna explore all of these back roads for a while. All right, so I guess I should probably talk to you guys about why I'm moving back into the Jeep. It's a happy day, it's so good, it feels right, it sits with me right, and I'm just so excited to get back on the road, and I want to share with you guys also kind of what my plans are. Reason number one I moved back into the Jeep was because my lease was up, and I was like, I don't wanna pay, $800 anymore for a tiny studio. Granted the studio was nice and my neighbors were nice and I needed it for the time while I was healing but for me it just doesn't make sense to pay rent when I could be living in this epic rig. I think I would approach travel differently so that I can afford the gas prices and that's just that I'm gonna travel a lot more slowly. I think that I'm gonna be okay with going 100 miles per week and sticking in an area and exploring it one week at a time. So that's a plan. I think when it came to deciding whether I was going to extend my lease or move in with my now ex-boyfriend, the choice was always there. It was kind of clear in my head that I really wanted to have that freedom of travel back again. Because my ex and I broke up, it really kind of opened the door for me. I think that there's something really strange that we do as women in society where we feel like we need to be at a certain marker by a certain age and I realized that I wasn't happy in this relationship and that it was not going to help me grow and what I really want to be doing is traveling and exploring and I shouldn't have to feel like I need to be in a committed relationship yet. I'm 26. I feel like the freedom is still so much there. My second reason is that I'm freer than ever. I quit my real estate job. It was not a fit for me whatsoever. I don't think I am the type of person to feel like I need to be on my phone all the time and need to be in connection. and. I didn't move to an island in the middle of nowhere to feel like I was living in Seattle and that's how I felt. Um, call me dramatic or whatever, but I felt like that job was a horrible fit for me so I had to quit that. So I just feel like there is a lot more out there for me to explore and uh, the freedom. I really just feel like living out of your car essentially is freedom for me. Since those two things sort of came to a head, I saw it as an opportunity to continue to be free, to be 26, to be in my 20s, to see the world, to do what I want to do. And finally, I really feel like I have healed through having a wonderful community of people around me, a beautiful place to live, and having that time in a space where I was stationary for a while allowed me to focus on my thoughts and my feelings more than I was thinking about my day-to-day -day on the road life. And so I feel healed, I feel ready. I feel like if I don't take this chance now, I'm going to be stuck. I feel like I can't grow anymore just living in that studio. I feel like I either need to be traveling or I need to be developing the property that we own to grow. And so the easiest way for me right now to grow is to travel. <laughs> the end all be all is that I really just don't wanna pay rent anymore when I could be having all these experiences with the money that I was paying somebody to pay their mortgage off. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, those are my reasons why. I hope that makes sense and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me. The world is an open book and I have this like spark, this passion back 
um, being, doing what I do best, and that is adventuring, pushing myself to the limit, getting out of my comfort zone, and sharing that all with you. This was very long-winded, but I feel like I had to get that out and share. <laughs> Have you been?